Hi, how's it going? Good, how about good, you? good, good. A lot of, this, so far, the best shirts. The best shirts I've had today. We got Dari, we got two sweet Aloha shirts. That's why I thought y'all were together because you guys were Yeah, yeah. It's San Diego, get with it. <laughs> I had a question about what did you think about the impact of doing a series like this and keeping it in an audio platform for also helping for vision impaired versus like putting it on a big screen like a TV show or like movie? Yeah, I mean, that's like, so I was, you know, Felicia and I are the kind of the same way where it's like we came up in like DIY, um, you know, creative spheres. Um, I was like a punk rock kid and so we just had to like, you know, we had to figure out how to record on our own. We had to figure out how to make a zine and an artwork or, and she, you know, like, and then I started doing comedy and like, how do we make this video? How do we make it look? It's like with only the stuff we have. So limitations will always breed, you know, more creativity than you think you think you even have the ability to like do. Cause you're just like, you know, we're like, you know, we're all kind of used to this thing where we're backed into a corner and like, it's there's a story uh, about like, like where Mel Brooks, uh, when he was writing on the Sid Caesar show, like he would never finish scripts on his own until they like kind of like forced him to like, like they backed him in a corner like, what's the idea? He, he was like, oh, we'll do it. And, like, and they, they would like, you know, kind of corner him and then he would just come up with the, mo the most brilliant thing. And he, then that's how he's Mel Brooks, you know. Uh, and so when you're in this position of like, um, man, how do we show this stuff without showing it? And um, and luckily, Mumble is this the company that like really did with the sound design and the music. Um, they did such an incredible job where it like it's this thing where I was like, can you do something like this? Is it neat? Can it, is it possible to get a door sound? And then uh, they're like, yeah, we got it. And then like you hear like their first pass, and you're like, your mind just goes, oh, okay. So the door should be old and creaky. And then like you start to kind of um, describe stuff as if it was an art department conversation. And that's like what was really neat. Like, you know, beaded curtain, like it's like a, like something, someone driving by, it just, and you know, like simultaneously I was in post on a movie, um, uh, on a project, I don't know what I cut, <laughs> uh, but like, um, and like, like realizing how much sound helps like small movies. It's like so much of the stuff is just sound based. And so like having to get to do these two things kind of concurrently really helped inform each other. And it was just like one of my favorite things of the whole process. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm very intrigued to see where stories now are just past a frame in movies and TV. Yeah. And I, you can hear how people's dynamics are with writing. You can hear people's dynamics with acting or with folk fully or not. When it comes to directing, is that something that is more, are you more tactile want to know where everything's going? Or are you just like, listen, this is the story going and we can change as much as we want? Is that living this thing in Tracy? Or how do you engage directing with yeah. just the mic and all the literally things that you Yeah. Well, it's like, you know, the. the you can kind of get away with anything, but you also have to make it succinct. And like, um, you know, we there's, it's like, with like doing stuff on film, you know, it's like, it's like if you have a big idea for a shot, you know, you want everyone to do exactly what you want. But with this, we have the, we have the ability to kind of like, you know, let people go off and kind of find the stuff. And, and so like, it's like, and I like that idea of like, what's like, you know, like, how do you, how do you bust it open? How do you make it bigger? And it really is just kind of like letting people kind of like run through it in that space. Cause that even happens on camera where it's like, you can run a thing with just reading it, but then once you're in the physical space, it's like, it could be completely different. You have to change the, uh, the premise of the sketch or the tone of a scene and like finding those in each way. And then like always knowing where people are coming from and going or where they're going is like, like some, like it's, it was like one of the more like fun experiences I've had directing and then just like not thinking about like it's like their movements or hey remember you did this in that last take or we you have to remember to walk over this time when you're just listening to the voices and then you kind of like really kind of go like it's like it's like hey remember it's like you're getting worked up like you're sad like it's like or like it's like you're gonna start stuttering you're gonna stammer I know it's like in the in the lines in the script it's just gonna be like you know you're just saying these lines but like finding those things to kind of like you know telegraph I guess the idea yeah of like um, you know like Felicia was so good at like stammering and at like um, but then I like you know there was parts where I was like but when you're angry you get succinct so remember like it's like bring that in or you know um, Lily Pichu who was like you know like 
like green in the world of like acting and performing, but like it's like I would just kind of like I was I was like, hey, like you you said this line super funny, but remember you're conflicted about like um, and then just finding like, weird little stuff. And it's like you know there's a scene where Felicia uh, plays drunk, and like that's always tricky for any actor to play drunk. And I was like I was like just be like. Like and, and like I know her when she's like tired and loopy and I was like do that but also how you don't like not having control and like you know <laughs> those kind of things um, but that's always my, my favorite thing when any kind of like reference or not reference I like but like that um, like a, like a, a joke in anything or a moment could be like of like you're I always call it like you're passing by a door to a larger story and it's like where you kind of like you're and it's not even the point of the thing but you're going by and you do, you go oh that's a whole world like yeah yeah so that's like my favorite thing yeah, yeah. Um, getting a little bit more technical on that as well, too. What, what are the really drastic differences in, in, in a media like this in terms of directing? What's, what's sort of like the, the nuances and stuff like that maybe the untrained person isn't aware of? Yeah, I mean, I, I got to sit down the whole time. That's really rare. <laughs> like when you're directing any video, you're like, you're, you're just up the whole time. and um, But like, uh, there's a bit more uh, room for uh, giving line readings, um, which is kind of a no-no on camera. Uh, that's something I was like very able, like to, like able to kind of do without feeling like I was being disrespectful to the form. And sometimes, you know, Neil Gaiman could say I like that, and sometimes they'll say that's dumb and you're stupid. Um, but like, it's um, the thing that I liked about it is just always thinking about like the, as far as like to get real technical about it. Like it's like like. Where are you walking in from? What were you just doing? Like, um, like always give life to uh, to what's happening. Just don't start the lines. Like, give yourself some room in the physical space. What do you? Were you saying something before you came in? Or did you like you know think of it like after you started talking? That kind of you know aspect. Um, that's the kind of stuff. That, like, make sure there's life on either side of. Uh, the lines in the script that was like the thing that helped me a lot and like it's and I'll probably take that to everything I do the rest of my life oh I'm sorry I didn't mean to yammer so much I never <laughs> thank you yes thank of you. course no thank you thank you so much